and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, in this video, I'm bringing you another super important cryptocurrency update. And uh, yeah, guys and girls, it's not looking that very good. And uh, in this video, I really want to talk about my overall prediction and uh, whether I'm sticking with my previous prediction that I've made and uh, what is the current outlook and what is the geopolitical situation and uh, etc. So without any further ado, please hit that subscribe button and hit that not notification bell so that you're notified when I make a new upload. And also, please don't forget to like the video because the more likes there are, the more motivated I am to create these videos on a daily basis and create more and more of them. So let's see if we can crack 2000 likes yet again, just like we did on the previous video. And thank you very much in advance for all your support. It's a lot easier to click a like than to create these videos. Okay. Without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. And uh, currently we are seeing this incredible move going down from about 45,000 down to 34,000, which is just an incredible drop in general. And if we measure it, then we will see that this is like a 25% drop right there, which is just not really that very good. But again, it's, it's got a lot to do with the geopolitical situation. Like for example, currently Russia, after all, decided to actually attack Ukraine full, with a full-scale invasion, which in one of my previous videos, uh, I said that this is probably it's not going to be happening because, you know, the sanctions are going to be just incredible and that Russia probably would not be able to afford it. But here we go. So everyone whom I've spoke with and myself as well, we were completely wrong. So I completely, I admit it. And we just want to see, you know, how this plays out because this is a very, very, very bad situation right now. And this is what is driving the price down because a lot of people actually thought that just as um, the same as we thought that Russia is going to go and take Lugansk and Donetsk and stabilize the region. And they're not actually going to go to Kiev and try to take the whole Ukraine, but that's what seems to be happening right now. And that's why sanctions started roll, uh, rolling in, just like I mentioned in the previous video, if you haven't seen it, please check it out. A lot of info important information was in that video. And um, you know, basically, uh, as we thought that uh, this is gonna be a peacekeeping mission, and if they're gonna be going uh, to Kiev and taking the whole Ukraine, that's when the sanctions are gonna start kicking in. And sanctions are already starting to kick in. And again, I mean, even the sanctions uh, from United States uh, are going to have an effect on the inflation rate in the United States. So it's going to affect the United States as well. So it's just overall not a good situation at all. So for that reason, we are seeing this tremendous move downward. And uh, uh, the only thing that I could think of doing today, I actually, uh, let me show you, uh, I got into Ethereum a little bit. I just added uh, a little bit of Ethereum to my portfolio because I had I was buying this dip going down, so I bought even more today at about twenty three hundred dollars. And uh, uh, my current target for Ethereum actually is if we're gonna be breaking uh, this level uh, right here, which is very important currently for Ethereum, uh, which is our current local low of about uh, two thousand one hundred and fifty. Uh, if we're going to be breaking it, which seems like we might be breaking it, then the next one is going to be $1,700 where we saw a lot of resistance right here in this area. And then we also will have to go past the 100 MA uh, as well. So this is the current situation with Ethereum. And I just decided to add some Ethereum to my uh, portfolio. And also I added uh, some Solana, which is a very strong project in my opinion. We're currently at this uh, super important resistance right here. Uh, support, I'm sorry, it's very important support, uh, which was created by this local low right here at about $80. So I decided to just buy in a little bit because I bought some at uh, 100 and something dollars. Then I bought some a bit lower and then I just bought some at $82, I believe today. So and uh, then if you're going to be breaking this one going down, then the next target really uh, is going to be the area of $30, 20 to $30, which I don't really think we're going to see in Solana. It's going to suck to see it, but we'll see what, what's going to happen. But just wanted to tell you that I bought in uh, to Solana and Ethereum even more today at a bigger discount. And again, if you want to be trading actively, then go down in the description of this video and claim a $4,100 bonus for your trading on Bybit. I personally use Bybit and at my trading floor in Dubai, we're using Bybit as well. So use the link down in the description and get $4,100 in bonuses and a 30% discount on commissions. Okay, so let's go back to uh, Bitcoin, USDT, and uh, take a look at uh, USD uh, first. And let's take a look at what's going on. So currently, and this is, I mean, this is the moment of truth for Bitcoin, quite honestly, because we are coming up to the key, super key levels 
and that was the level which in previous video I predicted is going to be the bottom and I am still sticking to it even though the geopolitical situation has really changed since then but nonetheless I'm still sticking to it and I'm definitely going to be buying some Bitcoin at this year. I didn't buy any yet but I'm probably going to be buying it as soon as we are going to be coming to this area. So currently we have this super mega important support in this area right here which is just incredibly important because we had uh, a bunch of confirmations, spot on confirmations in these areas. So we'll see how that reacts. And um, also we have a uh, hundred uh, moving average coming up at around $33,000, which is also, by the way, a very important level of $33,000 simply because uh, it's our current low right here. So that's why we have a lot of resistance coming in at this area. So at about 33,500, which is going to be our uh, resistance of this uh, diagonal level right here, which I just mentioned, then at 33,000 precisely, we're going to have resistance of the, our current local low and also coinciding with our 100 day moving average also super super important and then uh, latest uh, lastly our last resort for this for the time being is going to be uh, around I would say thirty thousand dollars like twenty eight to thirty thousand dollars let's just me let me mark it like this so this region right here this area 28 K to 30 K is going to be our last resort which was uh, the support of this consolidation after Chinese food. So this is the whole situation. This is basically it. This is the moment of truth for Bitcoin, because if you're going to be breaking the whole thing, it's going to uh, well start looking really bad, really bad. And perhaps crypto winter, etc. I don't know. But this is my bet that we are not going to break below 30K and that we potentially will reverse at 33,500, 34,000 dollars. We'll see what happens. But remember, historically, that whenever we broke below the $100, uh, $100 day moving average, we would see a 100 week moving average, we would see a huge sell off. So as we saw here, a huge capitulation candle, let me just move, make it a bit bigger. So we were, when we broke below it, we saw a huge capitulation candle with a lot of volume. Then uh, this is the first COVID crash. And then when we broke below, we had a very strong consolidation in this area, basically in 2018. And then finally, when we broke and closed in the weekly chart below uh, uh, the 100 week moving average, that also led us to initial, uh, uh, subsequently to a uh, capitulation candle and actually identified the bottom and also this identified the bottom. So in this instance, if we're going to be breaking below this area and going through $30,000, then our target could be as low as 20K, which is going to be like the worst, worst case scenario. But I'm still full of hope right now that uh, Biden's executive order of this week is going to be taken by the market as more positive than negative and is going to finally uh, turn us around, squeeze us a little bit and actually go above. So I'm still sticking to this prediction. And please let me know, guys and girls, what do you guys think um, down in the comments? Make some noise down in the comments and please do like the video. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Stay rich and stay smart. Now, I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio.